Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this 2024 Winnebago Echo. Now those of you that have been looking for an Echo know that uh, there's a delay in getting them. It takes some time to get one in. There's also been a recall on the second alternator uh, that's been going on. I think we finally got a fix. This is a new 24 that showed up with the fix already done. So uh, nice to have on the lot. One big difference in this 24 is going to be the display, the touchscreen display, which I'll show you when we go in. Uh, before I get started, let's go see you buffs. Coach Prime, you the man. I got a king here I want to sell you, Dion, so give me a call. Uh, we're going to start up front here. This is going to be on the Transit chassis. So it is all-wheel drive. You got a 3.5 liter EcoBoost, 310 horsepower and you're going to have 400 pound feet of torque so plenty of power to go through the mountains you're going to have uh, some multiple settings so you can do just normal highway driving economy mode mud and ruts and slippery so you got plenty of settings to keep you safe and get you where you're going so you can see up front we have our aluminum wheels with our hand cooked tires as we move back a couple things i want to point out First of all is this door, solid door. Look at the thickness of this thing. It's really nice, keeps it, it well insulated. You also have a screen door here that you can lock from the inside. So if you've got pets inside, you're letting them leave the door open. They can't just push through like they would on a normal screen door. We're gonna have our porch light up here. This unit was not ordered with an outdoor kitchen or the tailgate package. So you just have a big storage compartment here. You do still have the outdoor shower set up here. So you can always add a cooler in there if you want or, this, or the same kind of kitchen setup. Out here, you're gonna have your cable inlet, 12 volt outlet, and then a couple standard outlets. This is, like I said, it's a one-ton chassis, so you do have dual wheels in the back. Truma AquaGo hot water heater. So I always like to point this out. When you open these, make sure you lift up first and then lay them down so you don't break these tabs off. Cool feature in the Echo, you've got two propane tanks just like you would have at home under your grill if you like to barbecue. So if you're on the road, you don't have to find a place that'll fill up your propane tanks. You can actually take these out and exchange them at a Walmart or an Ace, uh, whatever's closest to you. It does have a quick connect for your propane. So if you want to carry a grill and cook outside, it's a really nice feature to have. You're tailgating, you got the party going, you're watching your favorite team hopefully win. Where do you store your grill? Right here. We got plenty of room back here in this garage. This thing is has power, which I have the batteries off. You've got a 12 volt, you've got a heater vent in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up all these compartments so you can see how much space is in there. And I'm going to run in and turn on that 12 volt battery power. All right, so again, you got plenty of room. You're going to have tie down tracks on both sides, on the bottom and on the top. So you got all four corners. It does come equipped with some tie down rings, as you can see down there. This mat comes out so you can easily wash it if it gets dirty, if you have your bikes in there. You can also put a sleeping bag if you get in trouble there, throw a pillow and you got plenty of room. Some peace and quiet. If your team's losing and you're catching a lot of grief, you can hide out in there. Up top we have our air conditioner and our backup camera. We also have a ladder so you can access the, the roof. Uh, this was actually ordered with the luggage rack. So I'm gonna climb up there so you can check that out. The 
you can see we've got three solar panels up there. You can have 455 watts of solar. I've seen some pretty cool stuff done with this luggage rack. I've had customers that would put a fly rod holder up there. You can get pretty creative. Down below we have our receiver hitch. So this is going to have 5,000 pound towing right under here. We're also going to have a seven pin connector. On each of the side doors of the garage, you're going to have a molly panel so you can tie stuff down to this. Uh, just let you tie your gear down. Let you better uh, make better use of your, your garage area. This side, we're going to have another light. Our water bay cool features it's up high most most of your RVs have it down low you you know if you got a bad back bad knees it's kind of a pain to do everything's up high here so you can do your outdoor shower your valves are color coded so you can uh, easily see how to do your dry camping your tank fill hook up to city water or winterize your echo this does have a gravity filled port here so you can fill your water tank Down here is your gray tank drain. So you'd hook up your sewer hose, go down, pull the valve to empty your, your gray tank. So you have 51 gallons of gray. You're gonna have 50 fresh, 51 gray, and then a five gallon cassette. Equipped with 30 amps uh, electrical service. So this is where you'd plug in if you're gonna be at an RV park or maybe plugged in outside of your house. You do have an external solar port for additional solar panels. Here is that five gallon cassette. This is your black tank. Really easy to use. Open the lid, put it in the sewer drain and push this vent button. Also has a nice little carrying handle with some wheels. This Echo is equipped with the 2800 Onan generator. It's a gas generator. And then the standard built, so you get the generator and you get the one Lithionics battery, which is a 320 amp hour battery. You can always add a second battery if you'd like. A lot of people don't need the extra lithium. Uh, some people know they're gonna be boondocking for long periods of time, so they go ahead and add that second battery. Comes in handy. Okay, as I mentioned, this is on a Ford Transit chassis, so it's a gas coach. That's where you fill. You're going to have power windows, power door locks. Your hood release is right under this cup holder here, so if you don't know where it's at, it's kind of a pain. you got to look around for it, but I'm telling you, it's right there. Power mirrors. Your light switches are right here. Your seats do have a couple adjustments. This dial will lift and lower the front. And this will lift and lower the seat. And then there's a dial back here for your backrest. All right, let's see what's under the hood. I've been having people ask me if this has the flux capacitor. It does not. Uh, that 3.5 liter EcoBoost, you don't need a flux capacitor. This gives you all the power you need. Over on this side, you have your coolant. Here's your positive uh, battery terminal. You're gonna have some breakers or some fuses in here. Your oil, here's the dipstick back here so you can check the oil. Your blinker fluid's over here on the left side. Your blinkers aren't working properly, make sure that it has plenty of fluid in it. As you can see, there's a lot of space in here, so you can actually reach down here. You know, you can access different parts of the engine, which is kind of uncommon nowadays. Usually you open the hood and everything is just bundled in there so you can't get in there.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and go inside. You may have noticed I didn't open the awning. This unit was not ordered with an awning, so when you ordered an Echo, when you order an Echo, you can actually choose whether or not you want the awning on there. You can always delete it if you're not gonna use it and wanna save some cost. However, if you purchase this from us, we can always add an awning, it's not a big deal. As you're coming in here, a couple things, your battery, 12 volt battery connect right here. That's where you turn it on and off. And I have your light switches and this is the step. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the outdoor step so it doesn't open and close every time we open the door. Up here, you're gonna have your solar charge controller. You're gonna have your monitor here so you can check your coach batteries and your chassis batteries. Everything looks good. You can also start your generator, turn on your water pump and check, check your tank levels. Up here we have our inverter. So the Lithionics battery will run the air conditioner. Uh, you also have the generator again as a backup. Here on the right side as you come in the main door, you can see we have our lagoon table here. So this serves a couple different purposes. All right, so first you can use it as a counter extension. So if you're in the kitchen cooking, you need a little more prep space, you can set up your lagoon like this. It gives you a little more prep space. You can also turn it around, drop it down. So when you pivot your front seat, you have a place to eat there if you don't want to use the other table. this just kind of out of the way here so you can see we have two booster seats reason for these and I'll show you I'm going to turn this seat around if you don't use the booster seats there's a level change there and your knees kind of hit your chin it's not very comfortable All right, so you can see now with the booster seat, when I sit down, it's a lot more comfortable than without. This yellow bar right here is how you pivot, uh, swivel the seats. So you move it, you have to make sure the backrest and that it's uh, moved far enough forward so it'll pivot without hitting the door. It's always easier to do the first time from the front. Make sure your seat belt's out of the way. Slide that back. All right, again, same on the driver's side. This does swivel around. Nice, this is a really good size table. Uh, again, you have the lagoon table you can use for this seat. You can swivel this, so you can actually sit four people down and have a meal, have a good conversation, play some cards. Both of these jump seats here, both of your seats are gonna have three-point harnesses, or three-point seat belts. So if you have a car seat, perfect for this setup. Your windows will have day and night screens, so you can black out the windows. One of the cool features I really like on these is that you can lock these in the middle here i'll show you you lock it in the middle section it leaves the window cracked so you can get some fresh air circulating and it still keeps people from getting in and out we're going to leave that open get some fresh air going through here since i did not fire up the air conditioner today again same on all the windows these frames have been redone uh, when the Echo first came out, there was an issue with these. There was a gap in there. Bugs were coming in. It was not fun. So they actually listened to customers and have fixed that. In the galley, we have our stainless steel sink and our dual burner propane stove.
with our microwave. This Echo is 23 foot in length, so you know it's kind of nice. You have a small, small coach, uh, but you still have a microwave. You got a nice size refrigerator. You got everything you need to kind of survive out there in the middle of nowhere with your 50 gallons of fresh water. In case you're wondering, this is the remote for your Max Air fan, which is right up here. You can use the remote or just push the button up there. You can see it's pretty quiet and that'll get some fresh air circulating. Under the sink, there's a water filter under there. And still plenty of room here for your cleaning supplies. You can have a furnace vent right here. And here's a small pantry with adjustable shelves. As I mentioned earlier, the refrigerator does have a actually a really good sized freezer up here compared to some of the smaller fridges that you see like in the Revel and other vans. So decent sized freezer, plenty of room for groceries. Again, with the lithium power you get in this and the 50 gallons of fresh water, you can actually stay out and away from people if you like. Maybe you, maybe your team loses and you don't want to hear it. Go up in the mountains where you have no phone service. All right, up here in the bathroom, a couple nice features. They do give you a window. There's a small cabinet up top. These hinges, in case you haven't noticed, these hinges are new on the 24. Prior to that, they were using the magnets up top. They're now using these latches, which at first glance, they look really good. They actually seem like they work really well. There's a snap up here so you can keep the shower closed or separate from the, sorry, there we go separate from the rest of the, the bathroom here. So when it's time to take a shower, you close off the toilet and you're actually not sitting on the toilet while you shower like you would be in most of your B vans. Super cool feature. All right, back here in the bedroom, you're gonna see this is set up as two twins. You have a center console here, nightstand, when it's time, um, actually, I'll show you this. You're going to have one drawer on each side. Down here, you're going to have a nice storage compartment. There's an access panel for your water pump. Same on this side as far as storage. And then right below the refrigerator, since we're right here, you can point out there's your breakers. You're gonna have fuses, breakers. Anytime something's not working right, you always wanna check your breakers and your fuses. Up top, right above your nightstand here, you're gonna have a couple USB ports for your cell phones. Standard outlet. Again, these hinges, I'm, I'm actually liking them pretty, quite a bit. Plenty of overhead storage, you got your lights. You do have a cable pass through here so that when you have your phone charged, you can actually set it down here if you want. And then when it's time for bed, you can flip this over. And now you have a huge bed, plenty of room. If you don't wanna jump over each other when it's time to go to the bathroom at night or middle of the morning, you can leave that open, use it as two twins. We do have up here in the corner, a cable inlet and a 110 outlet. So if you wanted to mount a TV up here, if you wanted to add a, um, a Starlink system, you could do that. There's a roof access port in this cabinet right above. So really easy to do. You can set that up, mount your TV, have TV on the go. Same back here on your window. So this is actually going to be your exit window, so it does come out if needed. 
Uh, you're still going to have your day and night shades. Here's your air conditioning, which is in a perfect spot. It's going to be right above the bed, so when you go to sleep at night, you're nice and cool. All right, now we we'll kind of go through the chassis or the, uh, the front cab here. This was not ordered with the TV or the entertainment package, which would be a TV and a sound bar. So this is just open storage up here. You have your thermal shade that snaps into place here to black out the front part and provide a little extra uh, thermal barrier. In here, you're gonna have your owner's manuals, but there's also HDMI cable, some outlets so if you wanna add, you know, Blu-ray player, if you want to add your own video equipment, you can do that in here. It's pretty easy to get from the back to the front here because there's not a big, uh, not a huge level change. So it's actually, it was pretty easy to, to get up front. I'm going to fire this up because I want to show you this touch screen. Uh, if you've seen the, tw the, the, the uh, 22, 23 models, you didn't have this huge screen. Give it a second to boot up. Now, when we put it in reverse, look at the size of that backup camera. So for those of you that can't see up close like me and you have to move everything far away from you uh, to see it, this is awesome. You can actually see everything that's behind you. So then you can choose if you want to hit it or not. All right, emergency brake is down here. It does stay engaged when I push it down, as you can see right here on the dash. So parking brake is engaged. It'll stay engaged until I go up a little further and then come down. Now it's disengaged. On the steering wheel controls, you have your back button, your OK, and your menu, so you can always scroll through really easy to do it's kind of nice everything's right there at your fingertips you can make your phone calls and right here on the right side on the left side you can set your cruise control your adaptive cruise so you would set that and then adjust how many car lengths as you can see on the display you want to be behind the car in front of you you can also uh, increase and decrease the, the, the volume and mute it as well. Turn signals on this side, your, wash, your windshield wipers on this side. Pretty standard. It's actually really comfortable. So uh, I had a guy that was in the Echo the other day and I think he was 6'2". And he got in here and he said he was comfortable, had plenty of room. Um, so no complaints there from a guy that was 6'2". Down here, I mentioned earlier that this is on the EcoBoost all-wheel drive. So you push this button, it brings up all the different drive modes. So if you want to, if you're towing something, you go into tow haul mode. This display is awesome. If you want to save some fuel, go to Eco. And if you want to go off-roading, you go to Mud and Ruts. Again, huge touch screen. Uh, here's your... AC and heat controls here, your fans on this side. Heated mirrors are right here. You can also go to the home button and then go down to, you can kind of scroll through here. Let's go to settings. I'm not gonna go into great detail. If you have questions on this, give me a call uh, and I can kind of walk you through some of this stuff. Rear, uh, rear view camera delay. Your navigation. You can do a vehicle, your hotspot in here. Your mobile apps. 911 assist. And you can actually lock the display with the valet mode. So you put in a four digit code, it'll lock this so whoever's moving your car around is not messing with your stuff. Kind of cool. Again, I'm not gonna go into great detail there glove box on this side cup holders here you also have 
little cubby on that side and on this side with the USB type C connection here and a 12 volt connection here. So I'm a fan of this 24. I love the display. I love that they fixed the um, second alternator issue. So if you have questions on this unit or any other, we do have more on order. Uh, feel free to call me. If you'd like me to be your salesperson, you can call and ask for me. You can call me directly on my cell phone or you can email or text me. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Actually, I'll see you Friday. I'm doing another video on Friday.